I made a gathered tea-length skirt. Here's how I did it. I started by taking some thrifted fabric that I've been hoarding for many years and determining which way I wanted the pattern to go, vertically or horizontally. I opted for this way. Then I determined my length by measuring from my waist to where I wanted the hem of the skirt to be, which was a bit difficult. I recommend you don't do this while you're wearing baggy overalls and don't even know where your knee or your ankle are at. I also measured around my waist. Again, probably not the best method to measure stuff when you're wearing such baggy clothes, but I've never considered myself a role model. I laid the fabric out on the fold. The fold is right there. I measured out the length I wanted for the skirt, plus a pretty sizable hem allowance because this fabric is very lightweight. I wanted to weigh it down just a little bit. I gave it the chop, and then I just had one really big piece that was the length I needed. And I could have just used this one piece, stitching the one seam together, gathering it up, and making the skirt. That would have been the simplest thing. But I really wanted to make things more complicated and time-consuming than they needed to be, so I decided to split the piece into three pieces, making a front and two back panels so that I could have side seams. Because you see, side seams are facilitators of pockets. That first piece is the front panel cut on the fold, and then I stitched up the back seam, leaving the top open about 9 inches. And then what I would end up doing is sewing these side seams together, but not before pockets. Like I said, more complicated than it needs to be. I opted for rectangular pockets, and I wanted to sew the top of them into the waistband for extra stability. To make these pockets, I just cut out four rectangular pieces and stitched each pair together from the top down about 3 inches. I took one side of the pocket, matched the top of it to the top of the skirt, and along the side of the front skirt panel. Then I stitched it together from that point where I stopped sewing the pockets all the way down to the end of the pocket. And this is what it looked like after that. And that's where the hand goes through, and then I did the same thing to the other pocket and the back skirt panel. And this is the monstrosity I came up with. Then it was time to stitch the skirt panels together at the very top, down three inches, just like I did with the pocket, but not attaching it to the pocket, just sewing the skirt pieces together, and then sewing the pockets together along the top, the side, and the bottom, continuing on down the skirt all the way to the bottom. I really didn't want to sew a zipper into the skirt. I opted instead for a placket, and then I would use a skirt clasp closure. I am not going to go into detail on how to do a placket here because I went into so much detail in the pockets and there is more instruction to come, and I'm getting, honestly, a little bit bored. But if you don't know how to put a placket in, you could slow the video down and just watch what I did, or if you really want, I could go into detail on how I did it in another video. But I feel there's only so much instruction in one video that can be tolerated before boredom sets in. In the interest of not being boring, let me regale you with a story from work. When I told it to my dad, he said it reminded him of a Carol Burnett skit, and so I'm going to tell it to you in a style reminiscent of the Carol Burnett show. Alright, day is almost over. I am almost ready to go home. Uh oh. Looks like someone left their phone here. I would suck not knowing where your phone was. I hate calling people. But I know if I lost my phone, I'd appreciate it if they tried to get word to me. So, I guess I could call the last person who called her. That would be a Bill. Okay, I'm calling Bill. Hello? Hi, this is Elle from Ilda in Static City. I'm trying to reach a Crystal Smith. I found her phone. You were the last person who called her, so I was hoping you could get word to her where her phone was. Oh, did I call the wrong number? Um, no, sir. I called you uh, with Crystal's phone because she left it at our store, Ilda, in Static City. Oh, oh, this is Crystal. No, sir. I'm Elle at Ilda in Static City. I'm calling you on Crystal's phone because she left it here. Oh, you have Crystal's phone? Yes, sir. Oh, well, she's my sister-in-law. She's got a new number. This is her new number, you know. I tried calling her earlier. Yes, sir. I'm calling you because you were the last person to contact her, and I thought maybe you could let her know that her phone was here at our store so she could come get it. Oh! She left her phone at the store? Yes, sir. Oh, what store? Ilda in Static City. Oh, Ilda, that's a good store. Uh, what city is that in? Static City. Oh, I thought maybe it's the one in Higginsville. They have one in Higginsville, you know. She and her husband were visiting up there. They used to live up that way. 
Okay, that's great. Um, this one is in Static City. That's where her phone is. Do you think maybe you could contact her or her husband or maybe contact her on social media to let her know that we have her phone? Oh yeah, I could give her a call. Uh, you said Ilda in what city? Static City. Okay, I'll give her a call on her new number to let her know. Um, you'll give her a call on the number to this phone that I have? Yeah, she just got a new number. Right. For the phone that I have, that I'm calling you on because Crystal left it here. So if you call her new number, I or one of my coworkers will answer it, not Crystal. Oh, right. Is there anyone you can contact that might be able to let her know that we have her phone? Oh, well, I have her daughter's phone number. Perfect. So you'll let her daughter know that we have her phone and she can tell Crystal. Yeah, I'll have her daughter call her. Okay, but not on this number, right? Yeah, I'll have her daughter call her on her new number. Okay, but I have Crystal's phone with her new number. Crystal doesn't have her phone, so she won't pick up if her daughter calls. Is there anyone you can contact that will see Crystal in person soon, or maybe you can contact her on Facebook? Yeah, uh, I think she has Facebook. Honey, honey, does she have Facebook? Does Crystal's daughter have Facebook? Yeah, yeah, she has Facebook. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can let her know to tell Crystal on Facebook. Great, so you can just let her know that we have her phone at Ilda in Static City and she can come get it whenever she's able and you have a good night. And back to the skirt. Now that the placket was sewn in, it was time to create and attach the waistband. To create the waistband, I cut out a piece of fabric that was about the size of my waist and a little extra since it was going to overlap. And I took some remnants from a thrifted bed sheet that I've used several times over for lining and I used it as interlining for the waistband since it needed a little bit of certification. Spellcheck informs me that is not a word, but I really think it should be. I basted the two fabric pieces together along the edges and they became one piece. And then I pressed that waistband up a seam allowance on one side and closed up the ends. Then it was time to run two ginormous stitches along the top edge of the skirt so that I could gather it up to fit into the waistband. I did this using a plethora of pins and then stitched it into place. Next, it was time to flip the waistband over. Utilizing that pressed under seam allowance, I hand-stitched it into place. No, I didn't. Actually, it was at this point I remembered that I totally and completely forgot to secure the tops of the pockets along the top of the skirt, so I did that. And then I also remembered that I totally and completely forgot to cut out a skirt lining, which was kind of important since the fabric is actually very thin. Yeah, I could definitely wear a slip, but that's just another thing to track down when getting dressed, so for convenience sake, I like to line all of my dresses and skirts if possible. I grabbed a remnant of lining fabric that I found at the... You probably know where I found it. I cut out a flared skirt instead of rectangles because I didn't want to add any bulk to the waist. Then I just laid it right on top of the skirt, eased it into place, and attached it. Then it was time to flip the waistband over and hand stitch it into place. I attached some skirt clasps. Pressed up the hem two times to make it kind of heavy, stitched that into place. And with that, I was finished with my skirt.